children, three children, mm -hmm. and your dependent is considered as your wife. So uh, it's actually three kids. So you're entitled to have three children when mm -hmm. you work for Golden Beryllium? We're Bank. not Only in three or well, less that, than three. That is what they're backing. You know, you have to retain, I think they put oh, some, okay, some caps on it. Okay, that is what's in the agreement. Uh, agreement. So, okay. it's three so if children. you have more than three children, then you and have you to get And you got to show the rest. Ah, okay. Yeah, so. You know, I'd like to stick with this Golden Beryllium, especially mm -hmm. in Grand Coup County, because mm -hmm. it has been a, you know, back and forth you know, situation, especially in Grand Cru County, where um, you talk about the school, the school is one, and even the hospital, what is the situation when it when it comes to the agreement and the the, 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 the welfare, the health welfare of the, of, of the workers? Okay, uh, the agreement on that is according to the agreement, the, uh, is that is the CBA, mm -hmm. they, they're supposed to have a clinic there. They said there is no clinic, mm -hmm. there is insurance policy that they have. That you can go to to back review and then you can get treated. But mm -hmm. the bottom line here is the concession area mm -hmm. they should have a clinic there Absolutely. that will treat the people. So I'm going back in uh, in Grand Cru on the thirtieth of this month. All what we put point, I mean, uh, we put uh, uh, action point on, mm -hmm. going there to report to the workers. This has been achieved. This is this, you know, to report back to them. And in the long term, the clinic, clinic building of clinic mm -hmm. and building of, uh, of 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 school mm -hmm. is 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 part of is part of what we agree on. Even housing, housing for this for the workers mm -hmm. is on a consortium, but they have not completed them. The reason they gave was the distance, most of the cons uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 contractors to take the contract in Grand Crew, some of them they will take it, and it is a pre financed contract, they renege because of the distance. I told, I told them, I said, this cannot be excused for two, three years or two years. What you do, if you are a contractor accepting contract in Grand Cru, you're supposed to know that rainy season in the road will get difficult. Mm -hmm. So during the dry season, you speed out the work and move more materials up during the dry, and then you continue on the work maybe perhaps during the rainy season. we we'll also put cap on that. When we go back on the TDF, the contractors, they're going to cancel out all of the contracts. Uh, because if you if you default on your contract, you can, they can they cancel, and then we will recruit new set of contractor. They dry season, and then so they can hurry over with it. Well, the contractors are part of that meeting because it's they, easy for the no, company gonna, to say no. It's got, easy for the company to say you know the, the the reason why we've not finished with the housing units is because the contractors are not living up to their part of the agreement. In terms of the agreement, uh -huh. but the contractors were not in that meeting. They are going to meet their contractor. That's why we're going back on the tier. They're going to meet their contractor, and result will come to us on okay, the tier. Yeah. Yeah. just to okay. complete this because if the housing if they, they complete the housing unit, then the employees will live. There in the concession area, most of them live in Plibo. So they got to uh, leave from Plibo to come. That's why we pay school fees in Plibo. So because they live there, now when the housing units are completed, that will also compel the concession to build a school because now the 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 the, 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 the employees will move now in the concession area with their kids. Mm. Yeah. So the, the, the employees are in Plibo, they leave from Plibo to come to some of, some of them, to but in majority of them, according to what 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 I was told. Did they give you any reason for which you know they have not yet you know constructed the school? Uh, uh, they should they should have. You actually, know, actually, 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 I, I went there. Um, usually, um, if we in conflict resolution, you you look at the source of the problem and you solve the problem. You solve it. If I go beyond to say. Uh, what is the reason why we are not building school? You are gonna, it's going to be a long list of all oh, this, 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 this. Can we build a school? Can we build a health center for them? Let's work on it. And we'll make sure we achieve that. And I'm going to be, I told them, you can, you, can, you can lock me in that I'm going to follow this up, even in Monrovia. For example, I will be meeting the uh, NASCOP, uh, I call it, Director General, uh, uh, mm -hmm. because these workers are paying, uh, they, they are, uh, the company is deducting uh, money from them uh, under the NASCO policy. Social security? Social security, yeah. yes, that's it. Social security policy. Mm -hmm. And even ID card, NASCO ID card, that is social security ID card, they don't have. 
and you're talking about 1,250 uh, employees. Can we take uh, uh, a team from Monrovia and go there and give them the ID cards? Say we are deducting money from them? Yes, we because should. Because they're entitled to yes, that, Yes, right? we should. Run, they should. So because they are in a remote area, too, it doesn't mean that they don't, they don't no, matter. No, no, you can't do that. that. So I'm going to be meeting him on Monday so we can set up a team. I want to help with, with GVL if the little plane they have can facilitate moving them there so they can give the people the article. Then we we'll mitigate that other problem there. So. Uh, so Kam has returned to um, Grand Coup and Yeah, they're going back to work. They are going to work. They are working, and and um, I'm not, I'm not, go I'm going to be engaged. That's why I left my number. The superintendent, I told the superintendent, what you can handle, let me get involved, so we can, you know, the, the once we this, keep uh, happiness in the country, the place the country will be peaceful for all of us. Okay. So then, church, you want to ask me questions of it? No, um, it's not really a question, but the issue of this health center is very paramount, you know, for the people of that area. So mm -hmm. when you are going back on it, tell you if it's important that you put forward the issue of that, the construction of that health center. Yeah, thank you. And exactly this is what we, uh, on my list is the health center, the school and the housing units. Okay. If we can get these three completed, it will help to improve the living standard of the workers. And trust me, the people are not going to understand now when they can be all the way there in Green Crew County and more than 200 housing units have been constructed within less than a year and then GVL has been there more than two years and you can do, you can live up to, you know, your agreement. The excuses now you're going to be giving, the people are not going to listen to that mm. because the same place you expect to take those materials from, we, we have, you know, the presidential housing units have mm, been constructed, mm, mm. so they can't give an excuse yeah, now, no, so they have actually, to live up to actually. their part of the agreement. So let's we talk should. a little bit about the uh, Maryland oil palm. Okay, Maryland oil palm. Mm. Uh, we received communication, well, I received from the superintendent that the citizens in the area of Bacon, there's a town not very far from, 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 from Apple. Okay. Um, they have said that in our communication, in their complaint that GVL, no, 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 MOPB, sorry. MOPB has encroached on the their lane, community lane. Okay. So um, um, they complained to the superintendent and then, but this, this uh, lane issue been in existence for five years. I understand started from 2011, uh, more than five years, I think. Uh, 2011, um, they have complained that G, uh, MOPB uh, encroached on the uh, community lane. And that has not been resolved. So when it came to my attention, I decided to go and see what's going on there. And when we reached there, they have already blocked the road. G uh, MOPP is not going in the plantation to get a palm. Palm is getting rotting, just as it was happening in the GVL area mm -hmm. in Sorokin. So I decided to go meet the community people to understand it better, even though the civil tenant gave me a uh, brief on it. Mm -hmm. When we reached to to uh, some part of the road to get to the town, they block the road. And uh, they put some traditional signs that you can remove and what have you. But of course, not for Thank me. Thank God you're a traditional man, so Even you though it's not for me, because most of the things I, I know what to do. Uh -huh. But uh, I was traveling with other people too. Okay. So we decided to go leave it, and there's another road to get to the town. But we couldn't get to the town. Well, every day raining. You know, the rain was so heavy. So we waited in our town. I took the MOPP uh, uh, senior staff and then we all went together. However, we couldn't meet them. I was a little bit, I said, okay, I can't leave Maryland until I resolve this issue. So I sent the superintendent to them. Go in our town, say, I can't get there now, and tell them that we need to meet. We have to meet. So the superintendent, they were, they agreed. They came to Barrican. The Barrican is right on the road going to Apple from Plebo. And then there where we had a meeting. And they came in number. Mm. So I asked them what is the issue they explain. But before going, this is what I did. I asked land authority to give me one of their uh, cartographers, uh, you know, they call it, to go and take the coordinates of the points that the Soko had. Because it is the Soko land or concession area that mm -hmm. government transferred mm -hmm. to MOPP. Okay. So let's take the means and bounds of the Lesoko land mm -hmm. and then we can we can compare. Uh, so he went and did it with the superintendent, the district commissioner, the Saturday district superintendent, 
the town chief, the clan chief, and all of them were at the site. They were showing where the coordinates should be taken. Okay. And the coordinates were all taken. At the time, we were in Sorokin. Okay. So when I completed Sorokin issue, then I went there. So when we met, so I asked this guy, the calling George Miller, uh, to give me a report on the points that he took. Then he went on. Is this a point you show me? Yes. Is this the other point? Yes. And their photos are there. So when you computer all, and then he put it in a GPS system, mm -hmm. and then it came to a particular location where the Lusoko land were taken and given to MOPP. So where they were claiming or they were thinking that was for them, it's not. It's in the MOPP concession. Oh, where the traditional people were yes, claiming it's land. inside okay. the mm -hmm. MOPP mm -hmm. concession, MOPP. and okay. they saw it clear. Right. I mean, it was very professionally done. So I told them, this is what you can see. And this, these are the points you took, right? You say, yes. So I said, but the place not for you. It's for MOPP. It's within the concession of uh, MOPP. They agree. Now, what do we give back to them? You know, they thought that that place was for them. And it's planted with palm already. So their assumption, I mean, their thinking would be that if it, if, if it refers to them, they will, be make, they will come some revenue, right? Yeah. They will make some money. So I talked to the company, MOPP. You have to coexist with these people. Therefore, it has to be a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. You, they will identify mm -hmm. lane, a community lane that you can put a plantation for them. You will take care of it for them. When it, it mature, then you can, they can sell it to you with a fair market value. So MOPP also agreed to that. On the 14th of this month, mm -hmm. I'm going back in our region. I'm going to to TU, that is Tottenham University, mm -hmm. their anniversary, I'm going to participate in that, to work for me, uh, celebrate with the students, to tell them that uh, they matter, uh, they are the future leaders, but they can be future leaders when they set in roadblocks. Mm -hmm. So we should work together, you know, you know support the government, you know, and you, if you are an engineer, uh, Golden Safe Car is coming up, that is the palm, the mail that Golden Valenium and, and Safe Car, Safe Car is the I think it's a model mm -hmm. company of mm -hmm. MOPP, yeah. you know, so that if you graduate, you will have a job. But if you have to be a good citizen, you know, be a responsible citizen, you know, those kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back there. The president invited me to participate in their, in their homecoming. So I'm going there for that. But I will also go to Baker. If they have identified the land, then we will, I will now uh, talk with MOPP to start... Uh, doing budgeting because they say they, it takes a year. Their budget for this year is already finalized. Sure. For the next budget, then they can put it in it for the next budget. But they will take the coordinates, the means and bounds of the area that they will agree on, mm -hmm. on the, the citizens. Then they will put in their budget. Next budget, or next, uh, I don't know, planting season, then they will have a... So Calm has returned plans. to that. Calm has returned. Return. They too, they are going back to work and they expect me to go there. Super and I'm fantastic. going there to also That's meet... That's good news there. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. To Super meet the women and the, the youth. I'm taking football, two set of jersey, two football, male and female. Then we're going to have a country cook okay. and then we we'll all marry make together. Uh, you know, just, Which is great. I think your decision know, to even take someone from the land authority to settle that was mm -hmm. a very good thing to yeah. do because you know that put the whole thing to an, put an end to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. The people are satisfied now. They understand that mm -hmm. you know what we know these markings, and then we understand now clearly that this land is not ours, but we just because this has been a long run. Yeah, and some of the sticky point was T T. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in Monrovia here, mm -hmm. uh, like you buy land that borders so quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, your 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 corner will be facing your portion the portion of the land that you own mm -hmm. with your initial, and then Zokwe will be facing the whole portion. But then the two uh, cornerstone will be hitting each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not the case with concession. Mm -hmm. Concession is point. They put number. Okay. You understand? So they thought where the number were facing. It's only, it's only the land that for MOPP. So the uh, George Miller clarified all of those and they were satisfied, you know. So, so since we're still talking about land, let's talk about this uh, boundary dispute uh, resolution, uh, 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 planting of cornerstone between the Seleka and uh, Info Demand. Yes, you know, Titi is uh, the next thing that we have to put real 
keen attention to is land. And thank God they land the I think land authority uh, uh, chairman. Chairperson uh, of the IT Chairperson of the Land Authority, we are working together. The next is boundary harmonization. Boundary harmonization also it has to do with land. The boundaries being shifted in some points, in certain cases. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's is is if a concession is going in an area, we shift the boundary because that concession when they plant palm or if, I mean palm or, or for example palm for example, mm -hmm. then they give you per hectare planted. So we shift. Sometimes so who does the honest. shifting of well, the, the boundary? Well, the people, community people do without so the gives, knowledge of the other. Uh, uh, yeah, people. then it brings confusion. And people steal people land. Yeah, so, so it brings confusion. Yes, it brings <laughs> confusion. So now, what is Senegal and 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 in 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 in, uh, in Samodu in 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 in, in uh, uh, Lofa? Yeah, the Kwadu yeah, Boni is a district in Lofa, actually. Uh, what we did was that it, it has been a long standing conflict there, which we just resolved. And then we planted a cornerstone, people are happy, and we, ha we have several those across the country to do. You several. guys have another one with the Bapolu and the Bapolu, Bon County. Bapolu, Bon County, Bapolu, Bomi. Bapolu and Bon, we already have the inception meeting. Well, there's a follow up meeting coming up. Uh, that meeting will take place in, in Bon Mines. There's another one coming up, but there's another one even further up uh, between Bapolu and Bon in Dike, in a Dike era, because it's, it's so remote. So, we, you know, usually boundary, if it's not river, it is lake, it is usually river. So, but it is, it is across the country, you know, so recently we just uh, had another meeting in Bon, I mean, no, in Bikana. Uh, between to settle boundary uh, dispute between uh, Grand Bassa, no, River Sess and Sino. Yeah, that we all the caucus members were there. Uh, Has that been settled? Because my hometown, uh, uh, the San <laughs> yeah, San San Coin. Coin, yeah, <laughs> that is the one with San Coin. Yeah. And unfortunately, San Coin, mm. uh, EPO were trying to to invest in San Coin. EPO is Equatorial Palm Oil. They're still over there? Uh, they pulled out because there was a dispute between San Coin and Tajiwon district. And uh, that I went to Sino, resolved that. The resort was brought here. But uh, I think uh, they said that they have lost a lot of money in Sino, in San Coin, and they're not getting more land there. So they had to pull out. So I, I told them, no, we have already resolved the land conflicts there. If you leave the people that are working there, how do we do? So, so who they owns finally, the land now, since you guys have Actually, resolved. according to the report that uh, we did, it's at some point. It's some point. It's not that Everyone point. is screaming. So, <laughs> uh, and land authority chairman were even there. Okay. So yeah. that report uh, says that it's at some point. Okay. Uh, but uh, EPO finally left. They left the, the concession there. Now mm -hmm. the next thing is that I'm working with... Uh, with them, what what happens to the concession there? I mean, the palm they planted there. It refers to government. If it refers to government, uh, it, it, NBC and all of us will have to work together to see who takes forward it, and then so our people there can continue to work and you know and stuff like that. But EP will pull out or some point. So that meeting with Sino and River says mm -hmm. were very successful. At least we agree on a roadmap with all the caucus members who were there. A majority, let me say, were there, mm -hmm. and uh, the roadmap is that the 1950, 1952, President Tottenham signed a deal for some point that is in, within the folder. Uh, uh, then, uh, 1962, uh, President Tottenham also commissioned uh, a committee uh, to go and, and, and come up with a plan as to how. We can demarcate the, you know, initially we have only three counties uh, initially uh, during the independent mm -hmm. era. That's, that's Sino, that Mosorado Forest, that's Sino, and that's, uh, that's uh, Maryland, uh, Grand Bassa, Grand Bassa, <laughs> sorry, that was Grand Bassa. History is challenging me. So that, that's Mosorado, 
that sign or that grand basso. Merlin joined later. Merlin used to be Mississippi in Africa. Merlin came later and make it a fourth. You know, so President Totmo decided to demarcate because he knew that the country will continue to 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 grow and then we have to be demarcated into either counties as initially we started with Mosorado and the rest of them. So that study was done and the report came. What person talked more day, he legislated the report. Okay. As to, to, to set the basis for demarcating the country. Even the map that was produced was also legislated. That is those mm -hmm. two instruments form part of the Roma that we use the, to settle the dispute between Grand Passer, I mean River says and Sino. I'm calling Grand Passer perhaps because River it was Grand Passer and Sino. River says was a territory okay. on a Grand Passer. But we Grand Passer had a boundary with Sino. That is the boundary we're going to use. Okay, the, the boundary with uh, River says Grand Basso boundary with Sino. Sino. Because River that. says we 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 think Grand Basso. Okay. okay. You understand? Know and River says we're facing Sino as a territory on a Grand Basso. You understand? Know oh, okay. So when the demarcation was done with President Doe, 1984, uh, of 84, is that 84? 85. I think 85 made Grand Basso. Uh, no, the uh, Riverside Territory as a county. Mm -hmm. So uh, we now our investigation is that we learn or try to all of our uh, with the map produced. What I'm sure it is the same boundary they use. So now we are authenticating the deed that or uh, signed or presented for Sanquin that was signed by President Obama 1952. So that so is where you're going. That by, if that D is authenticated, mm -hmm. then of course that it has to form part of the road map. Okay. So it's is is we're going by actually uh ITR. It's ITR the meeting will be held but it will be during a drive because the law is a little bit impossible mm -hmm. and then the bridge was also a problem between River Says and, and, and Grand Basel. Anyway. River says she respects Sino. Sino is one of the original, you know, counties. I don't know how Sino became so small like that when you have other counties bigger yeah, than Sino. So Maryland is, the, uh, you know, Maserati is Sino, big. Sino is pretty big. It's just the population. Uh, the population. Sino is big, but uh, I think you should born a little more. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're working on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have the they have the really nice. They, they can think about Bonnie Woods and then go and build the county. Yeah. You know, the, all the the grass in the county. We try to cut everything, and then yeah. people start to sure. move there. Yeah. But you were you were in um, Ivory Coast uh, mm -hmm. recently. Uh, you visited the Ivory Coast. We'd like to talk about talk a little bit about you know what about this whole meeting in Ivory Coast with that is with the Ivory Coast in Guinea. Mm -hmm. The outcome of that meeting. Okay. Yes, I was in Ivory Coast uh, primarily to follow up on the Jigro Accord. I think you remember. Um, uh, former During president, former president Sally, Sally time, yeah, right? Wendy, yeah, exactly. In, in, in Grand Gide, Gide County, and then yeah. the second layer was in, in uh, Cote d'Ivoire oh, yeah, and sure. Jigro. Mm -hmm. And then the Jigro produced a communique that uh, we now been following up on. So I spoke to our president when we, the president made a first visit in Cote d'Ivoire during a state visit there. Mm -hmm. He took me along, and then he raised it with President Watara, his counterpart. President Watara agreed that we should carry on the follow-up mm -hmm. and then the president singled me out because I was singing I sing sign I communicate on behalf of Liberia okay. uh, at the time and then the president we are uh, asked that I follow up with the Avarian, uh, my Avarian counterpart president what are also selected the Minister of Interior uh, to be the person for us to work together okay. uh, so I, would, I just basically went there to follow up with uh, uh, the Minister of Interior CTK Jackie and uh, it was a very good uh, meeting. We agreed that the forest region in Grand Gide where the Burkina Bay being intruding, and I think you know the story, mm -hmm. uh, we decided that uh, the both government have now agreed to put a big concession there, cocoa plantation, that will attract the young people from Liberia to work and young people from the Côte d'Ivoire side to along the border. Mm -hmm. Uh, though that is in the point plan we're working on it but of course it has to it has to go through the NIC and what have you uh, some I think I understand
using some company express interest uh, to, put, to, to do that. And that will also provide us access road in it because it's a dense forest area. Now, access road where our security can patrol in the area to we know who is in there and who doing what there. So uh, that's why I want to go to work. I also added to. I want to stick with it a little bit uh, no, with no, that no. whole, you okay. know, this whole thing about uh, Burkina Bay in that part of, especially mm -hmm. Grand Jita County, has mm -hmm. always been a problem. Mm -hmm. Now I hear you talk about um, a huge cocoa plantation. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Um, does it mean that when this whole agreement is actualized, mm -hmm. that the Burkina Bay would have to leave um, that the, area? The Burkina Bays are not there legally. So they probably squatting there. That would be my reasonable assumption here. Okay. They probably just squatting there. I'm sure they are. They are squatting there with the acquiescence of some of our citizens. Mm -hmm. Because Burkina Bay can just. I'm, I'm not yes. too sure. So if the government is taking over that whole area, and then uh, whoever is squatting there, we don't. We don't know yet. Open road there. Let's know who is in there. And if our citizens, plantation is being laid there out for them. But Burkina Bees are working on the plantation, and the assumption has been that the place is being taken over by Burkina Bees. But actually, the librarian who own some plantation in there, those are librarians. You're not going to just tell and leave. So, we, we, but the land is big. But what we're trying to do, the concession, what it does is that it's going to open access road, security will move in and out of there. There will be social agreement where you have school, you have health center, and all those kind of things. So uh, if Burkina Bees are there illegally, definitely we fit them. I can tell you for sure. If they get Burkina Bees, Burkina Bees. You can't come on our land and just pull a plantation. But if it's in collaboration with our citizens, then we'll look into that with means of justice, we all can look at it, and of course, these are our citizens. Do we well, know how soon that, you know, will come to um, reality? We, the, the National Security Council consider that area as a national security concern, okay. and then the, 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 there is an authorization already given out to FDA to look into it, because I think FDA has part to play, because some laws might be removed, how will we do that? Then it will go according to the FDA law we have. So when that is done, then the plantation. But that letter has already been written to FDA. So, so since we are, you're talking about FDA, home. let me also ask you, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've been following up with this where you've got elephants uh, invading the people farms and especially in um, is it Bapu, Bapu, Bapu. Bapu, Cape Mount mm -hmm. and then I think the other day you talk about the both the both the, the how you call it the the, the, the uh, rangers no not not the rangers the mm -hmm. buffalo buffalo uh, buffalo those ones are not you know in bush dangerous cow, you yeah about? bush cows they yeah. are not in danger well in dangerous I don't think species, bush cow so. are, are I'm not too sure but bush cow shouldn't be endangered species mm -hmm. uh, but the the elephants are so that's why when the issues of elephants comes up then we have to. Uh, refer to so are the, FDA. are the FDA the authorities there? The I FDA, probably FDA. need to follow up on that with JKSA. I don't know whether your conversation today was. No, we didn't was, talk about okay. that though. That he has not yet reported to me as to what has been done with respect to that. His, he was always saying that we try to get in contact with authorities at the FDA, but they mm -hmm. always, you know, they know. I they, did. I did. I okay. talked with, with, with the MD. And he said that you're going to send the rangers there because if we don't, then we'd be discouraging farmers. They make their farm and then the elephant come and just destroy it. I mean, it's, 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 this is... And now they're destroying something. because if they're encroaching on the on the land, to, because I don't know whether the elephants are hungry or what. And the elephants are also killing people. Without yes, in, the, in, in, in Bapu. From that same Bapu, about one farmer who had gone to a farm. Okay. Obviously, when you see an elephant and you interact, because the elephant is coming mm. towards the the town now. Mm. I don't know what they. I we need to look into that people. with FDA. I, I we, I, I'm sorry that I really have not spoken to the MD before coming here. Uh, we need to look into that. But elephant to come in a town like that is is rare. Maybe those are towns that are deep in the forest. Maybe, but of course, uh, people if people live there, we got to protect them anyway. So we probably need to look into that. But TTY didn't compete with the Avorian leg of the trip. Yeah, okay, though, sure. Is that uh, I also went further, uh, talking to my counterpart there, my colleague, mm -hmm. Minister Jackite, that uh, we need help with. I also took along with me the 
the National Security Council coordinator, uh, Dakena, uh, uh, are talking along with me. Okay. And uh, they went into a meeting with their own security people. What can we do along the border to enhance security, to improve security, especially at the border post? Some of our border posts who don't have permanent structure. If it is rainy, these guys will leave the post and then that post pressure on their foreign side because they have structure along the border. So I was asking them to see how they could help us with logistics, they could help us to put some posts to just to help so we can to complement we can complement each other. That will also help to strengthen the border security and they agreed. So there is a work plan now being put together by the National Security Council coordinator mm -hmm. along with immigration service and then we'll send it to them. They say they will help. Okay, so mm -hmm. you, what what do you want from them? Uh, logistics. Some of the areas you don't even have motorbikes and the borders are poor, you know, such, such things like that. Okay. You know, yeah. Let's talk about, you know, the decentralization of your county center. The last time we talked to um, our correspondent in right here, Bombing County, and he was saying, you know, the people are not using the county's uh, service center because they think that, you know, that it's too expensive. So I was asking. <laughs> that was the superintendent. The, the, uh, the, 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 the correspondent reported that, you know, one, the road was bad to the service center, which is understandable. The but road then, bad to the service center? Yeah, the one in, 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 in Topmanburg, you know, the road from... From, 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 from the town the, to, to the to where the county center, service you know, center is. No, the road is, is on the Babulu Road. Yeah, I know. The, the service center is within the... The administrative building. Yes, this is this is this is where the superintendent's offices, the mayors. That is a civil compound, if you like. But the road leading there, it's it's, it's the, the road leading there. It's not paved road, but so every day the superintendent really, goes to work. Till the the rainy season, he said the people are finding it difficult to assess the service center and the other excuse is but that it's, 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 a, it's a bit expensive for people the expenses side of it i mm -hmm. don't know where it's coming from because the the prices are listed there so what makes it expensive except he's telling me something that i don't know the the prices are if you're going for marriage certificate for example traditional mm -hmm. marriage certificate it's fifty dollars fifty dollars us yes and anyway, marriage is expensive. So, right? so of course, you have to log that one month before. <laughs> but we should pay for the eight dollars. Oh, it was no. That is, is for, for the eight dollars. Is a diary. Was is it U.S. or Liberty? Well, for the eight dollars at the time, we're using U.S. dollars. Uh -huh. so, so now we got to interpret that. I have only two dollars there to yeah. make fifty. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fifty dollars. Actually, you paying for your certificate. If you get it married, you eat top my bread. Mm -hmm. This distance we're talking about is like twenty minutes. Uh, it's it's not, not quite. Far. It's not far. So you can't go there and get this, uh, I don't know. Actually, Titi, we need to do more public uh, awareness okay. to okay. our people, the importance of putting the county service center there. It's not to come to Monrovia in acquisition of services that are being provided there. In the county. In yeah. the county. So uh, that uh, they need to look at. I don't know whether I should consider there as an excuse, but it's not far. It's there 15, 20, 10, 15, 20 minutes, you know, so... Uh, I don't know. And being expensive, the lists are there. The prices are all listed. It cannot be. So I don't know. Is that my, <laughs> my issue talking? <laughs> Rappers? Yeah. No, 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 and no. even the, 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 the excuse the superintendent was, was he gave is maybe it's because, you know, the roads are a little bit bad. But he said people are going there because no, when he was that fun. that, we tried to talk to the superintendent concerning that. I'm, I'm sure maybe some people want to make their input. But let mm. me ask you about, you know, you know, Communal farming in Liberia. You guys uh, give seed rice. You distribute it uh, among uh, seed mm -hmm. rice mm -hmm. to farmers. Mm -hmm. How is that going? The communal farming thing. This year is the first year that uh, we carry on communal farming in the counties. In now all of the counties, uh, we distribute seed rice from the SAPET program. Thanks to former Minister Morgana Fromo and the folks at the Ministry of Agriculture, mm -hmm. uh, we distribute the seed rice to, to farmers in Bomi. Farmers in Lofa, mm -hmm. farmers in Bon, farmers in Nemba, farmers in Grand Bassa. You know, these are five counties that we distribute sea rice to and uh, to plant. And the communal farming idea is this way. The people in the district, for example, if you take uh, Jolor, that's 
maybe I should take one of your camps, Sanquin, <laughs> say you from, from San Juan. He take the people from San Juan and they make farm. Mm -hmm. And when they make the farm, they sell. The idea of a communal farming, everybody coming together, they making farm. When they sell, they produce from the farm, being in the rice, being it because we do maize cropping, right? Okay. Pepper, beta boy, and what have you. When they sell, the proceed goes towards development project. For example, the school you have, the school now the kids have overgrown the school. They, you have more kids than the classes can accommodate. You put an annex. You have a maternal, I mean, a, a health center that a little far away. You put a maternal waiting room somewhere that the women can wait there when they in labor. Then they can they add it closer to the to Who the is clinic. supervising the proceeds from that? No, they, 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 they are a committee. Look, let me tell you, our towns we are well structured. Don't see all like this. Eh? Mm -hmm. We have it's chair not like ladies. Monrovia, where some of them yeah, you're all scattered here. No, we're not okay. going on like that. Okay. You have you have chair ladies. You have youth chairman, you have a uh, dean, uh, and these dean are people of integrity. Yes, right? yeah, because they are elected by the people in okay. the town. So okay. this this is how the superintendent then will supervise. If we are serious about decentralization, this is a way to go. We have to give more power and more authority to people, let them execute so they can exemplify themselves. So this is the idea of a community farming. It's purely for community development. So what is the idea of community development? Give us an estimate. In the next two years, do you expect, will we come, you, have you sit here and say, you know what, as a result of the seeds we gave to Grand Bass Accounting, Definitely. this is what they have produced. Definitely. This is how their community has developed. This, this is it. Next year, okay. this year is a pilot year. Next year, we are going to do more, and then we will be even be giving prices. Okay. I'm encouraged because um, 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 during the harvest season, I already spoken to the president. He has agreed because this is power of, of to the people. The next harvest, the, the, the harvest season, the president will go to uh, one or two of them or so, mm -hmm. and then he will participate in the harvest. So as to encourage people to 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 to, to get into the program. Mm -hmm. So next year we're going full blast, and then we'll be giving prices to the counties that will produce more food okay. you know like that Which so it will encourage people oh, and it helps to, 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 to reduce poverty mm -hmm. and contribute to food security okay so let me talk about something finally that I'm not sure you um, well I'm just gonna put it to you um, we were talking to as uh, we asked the the superintendent of, of it's Bapulu County, right? JK Asa is yes, from Bapulu yes, County. Yeah. Um, the women in Bapulu County mm -hmm. are concerned about. I know the last time um, uh, um, the chiefs were in town and mm -hmm. there was this meeting mm -hmm. and there was an agreement mm -hmm. uh, about the, uh, put, trying to put an end to this whole, you know, tra uh, harmful, harmful, harmful traditional, traditional practice. Mm -hmm. And just recently, our correspondent from Bapu County reported that women in the county are totally opposed now to the, um, the, 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 the practice. And this is the reason. They're saying that their children are not in school. They, they have said to the community people or the zoos have said to them that, you know what, when the agreement was that when the children are out of school, then they can go to the bush school. Mm -hmm. And when schools are about to open, mm -hmm. the bush schools must be closed so that the students can, the children can come out and go to school. Mm -hmm. But that agreement is not being lived up to. As we speak, the children are still in the bush school. Mm -hmm. and, and that is really irritating the women of the county. That's what, that's for the Sunday. Mm -hmm. The poor, they're saying that, you know what, the men, when they come outside, mm -hmm. there is no way, even if a woman is pregnant, she's in pee, you are not allowed by tradition to get out. Mm -hmm. So it is hampering them. Okay. Um, I, uh, firstly, um, the agreement that the kids should be in school during school hours, it is an agreement that the ministry support. Okay. And what was signed uh, the, uh, recently, Chief Zanzan Kawa, myself, and the, uh, you and Wemi, mm -hmm. uh, was to take an inventory of all of the groups in the country because it's out of hand. Let me tell you this. People doing it and a lot of disrespect to the culture, you know, they, they carry on group and that is the Sunday, you know, in an area that you're not supposed to post Sunday bush. Okay, so we that inventory uh, or, or information will come to also as to enable us to see for me for example where I come from, we only recognize two groups, Sunday areas. Two 
porous area. Any other place will shut it down. And then we can enforce now that when 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 they during vacation, of course you can take your children to the to the boys school. It's a school, a tradition. And then uh, during school, when school opens, then you have to shut down. So, but if you don't know where they are, how do you go to 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 to, to monitor and, well, and, and and find out what's going on? So that's why that inventory is very important. When we can get that, then we we'll demarcate as to what goes where, and then that will be the one who officially recognize. Yes. With respect to mm -hmm. the tradition of the poro, where um, and the women are saying that when the the, 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 the British out. king mm -hmm. uh, comes to town and then you own a member of that kingdom, you have to go inside. Mm -hmm. and that, is the, that is the rule. But it usually happens at night, during night hours, okay? It's because that is not to enable, not to impair people movement to restrict people but during the night hours but they want to say uh, usually when that happens the door closes all the doors are closed and doors are closed and it doesn't take uh, it's not going to be like uh, two three days if it happens like that then of course we get concerned it's uh, when there is a boy school the there is, is a boy school somewhere there is not a whole <laughs> night more sometimes but when it's a boy school somewhere mm -hmm. and then they will send information it's not, it doesn't just happen. Information goes out to say, oh, the king will be visiting and from this time to this time. Jehu? So, uh, they call the bush the king. The bush king. Okay. The king of the bush. And so he has members as members of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So when it's coming, then the information is giving out. And then so you you will know, you'll be notified. Is giving, they send notification. Is the, is the information given a day before? Yes. They give you notification before you can, before it comes to town. Because it, it, they don't want to they inconvenience really have people. They don't have anymore. They do have town criers, but what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the preparation too, mm -hmm. who give consent to what the women are saying. Okay. Because it is also, it's not only the Sunday, the proliferation is not only the Sunday. Okay. They, they, the men too. So we are taking infantry of both. It's not only the Sunday. So then oh, we can the infantry of the poor yeah also, to right? see where we can recognize and then uh, some major town like for example uh, Ganta you don't want to let the king visit Ganta easily because it's a major uh, center where everybody from different backgrounds are getting coming to so these are remote area where there is a school mm -hmm. a boy school that the king will come to town once in a while to come and visit and go back you know so. So I don't know if there's violation in that. We can also check it out because we got to protect the rights of everybody, mm -hmm. even if you're not a member. So um, 0776089713, we'll take a few calls if you have any concern um, for the Minister of Internal Affairs. So good, you know the most that number. I'm not sure whether I only know the so come 0776089713. And if anybody is out there, I'm not sure I know how to operate this. I see this on the phone. So, so sorry if you're listening to me, please uh, come in the studio. I'm not sure whether I understand what I'm doing here. And I'm sorry, it's a new boy, so I have to learn how to understand that. So, um, and again, I wanted to ask you uh, mm -hmm. re uh, um, in relation to that, um, I, which is a fine thing that you know you want to take an inventory of the groups around the country and, be, and it's because you want to make sure you also want to make sure that when you have that you know where they should be mm -hmm. and where they shouldn't be yeah. and you also want the, the children to be in school and when they're not in school they can be allowed to go yeah. to um, the Bush school mm -hmm. are you also taking into consideration um, what the world is talking about because um, that people go to the the bush school with consent yes you know you are going to consider that consent uh, and take it and blend it with tradition Ambition. our tradition is heavily we are heavily this and be for many years i am of the view as minister of internal affairs okay. with time on this we can get to what the world is saying. Okay. But these are citizens of the country that believe in these practices. Uh, they, they deeply believe in it. And uh, with time working with them, uh, there are a lot of things are working with the UN women too. UN women, uh, what can we put in place 
with time, mm -hmm. then we can get to that. But for now, the, these practices, what we can do is to put some some uh, control on it. The kids should not stay out of school, get the, keep them out of school because they have to attend the boys' school. So the two schools should not coincide with each other. You understand? Mm -hmm. They should not coincide with each other. The vacation time is a time when the children are on vacation, you can take them to the traditional school. And the, 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 the complaint will be they will not stay there long enough to learn what they no, will be No, doing. no, no. It is, not, it is not that way. Because it was done to be there before, that before. December, when we close, we should close this, this vacation time should be December, right? Before. Mm. But now school... school no, I'm saying, uh, I'm just going to give you uh, some reference point. Okay. Before in this December or the vacation time, I'm from, mm. I'm from the interior too. Okay. So uh, vacation time was uh, during December time. That was the time people go in the in the in the traditional school okay. you know let so take, when you get before when let me take former superintendent okay. brian tati because i know he wants to come okay. i'm sorry all my people i don't understand anything uh, yeah. there so oh, if you oh, have oh. my own number you can call hello yeah yeah good evening Titi. how are you former yeah yeah let me say good evening uh mr minister and also your co-host you know i listen to the minister and prior to listening to the minister you, you guys were discussing with the various superintendent, the few of the superintendent. Mm. And one of the points that you're, you're striking with the NIMA, NIMA or superintendent mm. on the question of because a lot of school, they say this year, even including my county, Grand Jeter County, I was six schools from Grand Jeter. Can you imagine the whole 12 within each of those schools? They're not made of us. Mm. Well, the superintendent was saying that. The, the DO or CEO will send some people to, to give them a training while the school is on. I don't know whether they have to reach a reach again, especially the minister got to discuss it with the people because the education team will not have to deal with the minister of education alone. So then the, the superintendent is a vice jury there. He and the DO they can work together so that when you're taking people for e-service, at least you can do it on a vacation. Then by the time the biscuit is closing, you can bring them back. Mm -hmm. I think that would be all right. But if at all, if it is an interview that will take about one year, two years, then it means there should be a replacer. If you don't have a replacer, then we'll continue to have similar problems. Now, my question is with the, with the uh, uh, boys' school. The boys' school, yeah, you know, people have been having problems with it. And I think one of the reasons the people have problems with it is that maybe some of the material they're using. I mean, sorry to say, they, they are not sterile, they are contaminated, all the kind of things. So sometimes women develop problems for a long time, and, you know. So is it possible for some minister that they can discuss with the Ministry of Health so that even some of the uh, 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 zoo can be trained to use some of the money equipment to at least save those people that, 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 that they are dealing with? Thank you so much. Okay. One loaded question, and there is a good concern there that we're talking about. I don't know, um, maybe you could let you could touch on what he just said, and you know. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Let me thank the caller for that. Uh, it is a whole holistic approach I want to take as Minister of Internal Affairs when it comes to this. But since it's not uh, yet been finalized, it's heavily borders around the beliefs of people. I may want to reserve comments on those that we have not concluded, but with respect to the recommendation may last mm -hmm. about uh, health ministry involvement, because some health ministry practitioners are also members of the society. So well, I think that was uh, that is a very good uh, suggestion he made. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take note of that. He also talk about, I think that's, that's a key yeah, with issue respect with the, the school, schools, because the even school, from Grand the Coup, school, there was no, pa no, 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 nobody made a pass in the well, room. I, I, I don't was. understand why the Minister of Education would do in-service training during the, the, uh, the school, 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 regular school, school, regular school, school time. the time. We have vacation. During the vacation, you should do that, prepare yourself before school can open. But as he said, I should maybe take it all with my colleague, the Minister Sony, Minister of of, of education are surely well because most of these schools are found in my counties and I happen to be 
the chief administrator of all of them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as and it's not we'll one take, county. We don't know what we'll the issue note. is with other counties mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. even Grand Cru, no student, not none of the twelve graders made a pass. Yeah. And he is saying that Grand Cru, there, uh, six schools, you know, nobody made a pass. With all the study class payment, the president did. Imagine, but the reporter was saying that there are the, the, the students teachers teaching are out. students. So teachers are out, and you got people who graduated from high, high school, school teaching the high same school. high school. So yeah, what do you expect is, to get from, from, from there? Right. And he's saying, as a, the superintendent was saying, that this is happening because the teachers have to be uh, brought to Monrovia to do inset. I listen to Dr. Popo uh -huh. in the car coming. So I think that's a great concern. I think that that is a, that is a concern that I, I, you can lock me in that I will take it out with Minister Sonny. Okay. Um, Honorable Minister, we don't have much time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. maybe if you have any um, final comment, you can just make that. And usually, the press will ask you for your last comment uh, before we can close. So my last, my last comment is that uh, I appreciate the platform you created for my counties. Uh, really, let me appreciate EFBC, but specifically, you every Thursday you focus on all 15 counties superintendents. So which I really appreciate and I listen. Let me tell you this. Uh, this is that, look, to all of our citizens, those are who are listening to me, please, let us stop taking laws into our hands. You can't get angry and go find the police station that will protect you tomorrow. The police will be there to, 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 to protect you tomorrow. And uh, you can't get angry with golden valerium. You block the road, the palm getting rotting in the field. We need the investment in the country for, for prosperity of our country. We're not saying if anything wrong, the, in the investment we can correct it, as we did the recent trip I took in the southeast. So I'm appealing to them, taking laws into your own hand, blocking road, uh, because LEC has not gone in your area yet. Uh, can we change it a little bit? And those who you will be you will be infringing on the rights of other people and my to my traditional people, those who are not member of the society, you cannot you cannot impede their rights. You cannot uh, go in a town for two days, three days because they're not member and they are in though they can't even find food to eat. That is violation of human rights. We gotta stop that if it's ever happening that the women in Bapuru are, 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 are saying. So I want to say. So you talk to the zoning too, to to call the children also. I'm talking to the. So the people they that the men they call them zoo too. The zoo, the yeah, both are zoo, the male and female. You talk about the girl, the women, the children. Yeah, because the women are out of school. Yeah, they should, they should, they shouldn't do that. But I also took note. I also took note. I'm going to follow this up. If the school time you take the kids out of school, you cannot. That is unacceptable. Oh, I'm going to work on that too. So maybe next Thursday, I may call you to give you some feedback. Thank you so much. He's the Minister of Interior, Internal Affairs Minister, Honorable Van Insterleaf. He has been sitting with us and talking about all of the issues in uh, the counties. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister, for being with us today. Join us, God willing, next uh, Thursday uh, when Zokwe uh, Beslo Conan and I will be right here to bring you more of this. Better still join Sabra on Monday to Wednesday for the Bumper Show. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful weekend.